So, hi everyone. Been meaning to make this video for a while. Um, what the hell have you got? Thank you. Thank you. Judith, thank you. Good girl. I taught her when I say thank you to drop what she's got. Yeah, so anyway, back to what I was talking about before Judith interrupted us with a bone. Didn't you? Naughty. Not naughty too. Um, is the Dalmatian the right dog for you? Um, so, yeah, the number one thing that bugs me about Dalmatians there's actually not many things that bug me. Thank you. Um, is the hair. Now, I'm not house proud. But they molt all year round. And twice a year, they molt even worse. Basically. So, invest in a good vacuum. Um, I've got um, tiles and hardwood floor downstairs if I didn't have that I couldn't cope with so many dogs this way guys I start filming and they all go boom and go away come on let's go this way quick quick Jude come on bad idea coming to these fields because the farmer isn't very good at cleaning up dead sheep Good guys, good boy, Potty. Good boy. You're the only one in the game. Are you a good boy, Podrick? Pod. <whistles> Potty. Potty, Pod, Pod. Ah, Potty, Pod. He's a good boy. Um, yeah, so hair is a bad, bad, bad part of the Dalmatian. Um, and they just molt all year round. Look at all his skin. Um, then, if you look at their energy requirements, they are a breed that's bred for endurance. Um, so, they do need exercise, but they're not quite as high energy, I find, as people make out. But they do still need exercise. Um, the fitter you get your dog, the more work, the more walking, the more exercise they're going to need and want. Um, they love to be trained, they love to be good. They love to have fuss and attention. Um, and they really want to please. Come on, on, guys, let's go this way. So those are all like really good points of a Dalmatian. But obviously you've got to have the time to walk them. Good girl, are you? To train them. And I haven't got any tweets on me because I normally do. Are oh, yeah. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Um, yeah. So you've got to have the time for a dog. And that's any dog, whether it's a Pomeranian or a Dalmatian. Um, grooming requirements are really, really low. I've got a Dremel. Jude, come here. And I do their nails maybe once every week, once every 10 days. So I'll just show you Jude's nails. Um, so you can see there's a little bit of white, but they're very short compared to a lot of dogs. And other people's dogs' nails annoy me, I've got to admit. Um, I don't bath mine often. Usually only for shows. And, you know, if they've gone through a bog and they're smelling a bit, I will. Um, I don't think Disney, Duds and Lil have had a bath for over a year. So I might give them a bath just for a freshen up because it's been so long since they last had a bath. Um... As a breed, they're generally quite healthy. Um, and Nala's crouched down, she's going to get duds. <laughs> yeah, they... All of these are HUA Dalmatians, which is high uric acid. Um, and you can have LUA, which is low uric acid Dalmatians. But they were crossed with a pointer a long time ago. Um, to give them that healthy, healthier gene. Um, so, because these are all high uric acid Dalmatians, it means that you've got to watch what they eat. So, um, general rule of thumb is 
grains are high in purines which is what they can't process and red meat so red meat and game meat they can't have or they shouldn't have now and again as like a little treat give them a little bit of mince that's all right but you know red meat you know should never be a main part of their diet or a big part of their diet um i'm not as strict on the diet as some people are um because i'm not worried like if they have a treat that's not got low purine ingredients um equally though if i get a choice of chicken or beef flavored treats i would pick um chicken for them but if there's only beef flavored treats there i'm not so worried because it's only a treat it's not a big part of their diet the other important part for looking after them with the stones is to make sure they're always well hydrated always have access to water 24 7 and regular times um you know let them out at regular intervals to go for a wee and that's the management side for the um high uric acid dalmatians so that's literally it you know just a little bit careful on their diet make sure they've always got water and let them out regularly for a wee and it's easy to manage cow khaleesi she's got a bone which aria wants cow come on um other than that they don't really suffer from any other major health concerns um good girl jude thank you thank you good girl i think the marrow's gone from there um so you can see like you know well trained she comes to me with a bone which is obviously a good prize looking at her face she gives it to me if i had a treat i would give her a treat for giving her, me the bone because that's a reward but i haven't got a treat so you just get lots of fuss isn't it judith you're a good girl jude come on let's go this way come on up. um yeah so uh there's very very low instances of hip dysplasia and elbow dysplasia in the breed um personally i only know of one dalmatian with hip dysplasia um but i'm sure there's more uh sometimes they can suffer a little bit with skin allergy allergies nala's got an allergy to fleas so as long as she gets flea treatment regularly you never know never affects her she just gets a little bit lumpy um if she gets bitten by fleas so that's not a big deal none of my others have any allergies or any skin complaints um clean their ears regularly but that's another maintenance issue like you maintain the nails and you should prevent ear infections. Um, always buy a puppy that's been Bayer tested so you know what hearing it has. Yeah, so that's like, you know, the sort of health side of the breed. So as you can see, it's a very healthy breed compared to some. But yeah, the main thing is are you prepared to clean up hair every day because that is just a fact of life for the dalmatian um in fact i've got another washing machine coming so i'll have a washing machine for my clothes and a washing machine for all the dog beds and blankets because you know my clothes literally do come out of the washing machine with white hairs on them it's really annoying <laughs> um yeah they they'll have a go at anything like i've heard of dalmatians in america that have been trained to herd you know like herd sheep um i've seen dalmatians in this country and america do um gun dog 
stuff I'm going to call it because I don't know if it's flushing or just picking up or retrieving so I don't really know but they do that I know plenty of ones that do like agility obedience showing obviously so very very good all-round breed I just like to be active I've seen them bike during um road trials carriage dog trials sled dog things canny cross they do it all um with the right training so yeah they just a bit read the likes to be with you so they're not a breed that's happy being home alone all day with no humans I'm not saying you can't leave them for a few hours obviously you can but they're not the sort of breed that likes to be away from humans for a long time. Um, as you can see from mine, with correct training, they're great with other animals. Right. Come on, guys, we're going! independent ones. Oh, he's a good boy, Aria and Dad. Aria, Dad! Stay naughty, honey, potty. Stay naughty. You know, and then they will guard a little bit as well. Like, they're not an out and out guard dog. But certainly if somebody's coming at you in a threatening manner, they will look after you. Um, I've never seen them do protection dog training, but there may be a Dalmatian somewhere that's done it. Um, yeah. So as you can see, like, obviously I love the breed. Um, but yeah, they're not... Maybe not a dog for everyone, but if you're an active person and you've got a good hoover, they're a really amazing breed to have. So yeah, I shall see everybody soon. Bye.